What up, YouTube? We got, I think, another three weeks worth of Motown mail. First off, remember uh, when it was like 15 below last Monday? Yeah, my pipes froze in my home, my new home, and uh, I had the pipes burst behind the walls. I had three, I have three levels of water damage in my house right now, so this is what my living room looks like. Uh, I had to rip out all my flooring that I had put in. Uh, obviously, I'm missing some wall there, some wall action, but uh, that's what my family room looks like now after we got everything nice and settled. Uh, man cave, uh, about 30% of it got hit uh, with damage, and the upstairs, a little bit damage up there where they had to cut open the wall to get to the pipes, pipes that burst, two of them, two of them burst. So it's been a fun last, uh, what, two weeks now, week and a half. Uh, so to cheer me up, I decided to do some Motown mail. Um, I picked this up. This has been on my eBay watch list for almost a year now. I sold a bunch of stuff. Um, I went to the, like the Milwaukee Bucks and Timberwolves game just after Christmas, and they were giving away these bobbleheads of Eddie Doucette, who was the, I think, radio announcer from back in the day. I've never heard of him, honestly, so I ended up selling my three. The people in front of me gave me their three, and then I found another one as walking out, so I had seven of them, and I was netting about 10, 15 bucks a piece for those. So I sold all those, sold some, um, some extra autographs I had, and picked this up. Uh, this is an autograph of Muhammad Ali personalized to fill. So this has been on my eBay watch list for quite some time. It's a business card by from Philip Summers. That's not me. But it's personalized to fill. To fill from Muhammad Ali. Good luck. Uh, dated July 26, 87. With a little smiley face right there. Smiley face action. It is PSA DNA. And there's the full letter of authenticity. Uh, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, I sold a bunch of garbage, in my opinion, for this. So... I am pretty stoked to have that, uh, and I'll get that, and I'll end up getting that framed and matted with a with a image of the greatest of all time. Next, I have a package from Tom Hudson Fan 15. I haven't actually opened it yet. Uh, I'll do it on camera just because it showed up today. Um, so Hudson Fan said he found this. This is my holiday package. I found it like um, after the fact. Um, in his box of bubble mailers, unused bubble mailers. It says, Phil, happy holidays, enjoy. Hudson fan 15. Uh, my camera's acting up lately, so I got a base and then a last. So, base, we got Jim Harbaugh, Carlos Marmol, Terry Francona, Ian Stewart. Well, he had lasted a long time. Uh, Alberto Cabrera, Mitch Webster, Travis Wood, Alfonso Soriano, Josh Vitters. Remember the days when I collected Josh Vitters? Uh, Wellington Castillo and a Brett Jackson. Hopefully he'll pan out. Uh, so th I didn't actually didn't have any of that base. So thank you, Tom. This one says last. I don't know what it is. I'll let you guys see it first. I don't know which way it goes. Oh, it's facing me. Here. Mike Singletary, Epic Signatures Auto. One of my favorite sets of all time, and I actually don't have any autographs from this set at all, so that is that is awesome. On-card auto like it should be. On-card auto from 1999, Upper Deck. Epic Signatures of the Hall of Famer, Mike Singletary. That is awesome. That's going straight into a magnetic, straight into the Bears PC. Tom, thank you very much, my friend. You didn't even send me anything, especially with your house and your everything. Um, I know firsthand how expensive it can be. Looking over there. Uh, I appreciate it, uh, Tom. I appreciate your friendship more than anything, though. So thank you, my friend. Happy belated holidays to you. Um, next, uh, I bought these from my buddy Big Fish, um, Jay Sohn. Um He's trying to raise some money for his sets. Let me make sure this is still going. Okay. Um, I bought these two. I'm not officially doing the Inception set yet, but I have like 30 of them, I think. Um, mainly because I don't have any of the big names. I have all the, the lower end guys. Uh, this is uh, D.D. Gregorius. He's in the Reds organization, or Diamondbacks organization. So that's nice. And this is really nice. This is a, uh autograph from Topps 206, 2009 of um, Eva Longoria. First certified auto of... Evan Longoria, so that's pretty sweet, so thank you Jason, that's package one. Package two um, included this. 
which I already ate because if I still had it around, it would have been like three weeks old. And yeah, I'm, I got the I got that before Christmas. Um, and the banana nut bread, Jason, was some of the best I've had. So thank you very much. First off, here's the envelope. What up? Um, so Jason, thanks a lot for that. I I, I joked with you through text, and I that, that didn't last me more than about 40 minutes after I opened up the package. It was all gone. So I appreciate that greatly. Uh, also got this nicely wrapped. Um, I did already open this. I opened Tom's on camera because I just got that today. Um, first off, go with the base first. Um, Topps Chrome Base of Brandon Marshall, uh, Kasim Green, Matt Forte, Kyle Long, Howie's Kid, John Bostic, Rookie, and Jay Cutler, who I'm actually happy they signed. A lot of People around here are not. I don't understand why. Uh, and also got this nice rookie auto of uh, Marquise Wilson, who was their seventh round pick from last year. He's got a lot of speed from Washington State. First autograph of Marquise Wilson. Got this nice uh, game used jersey with the pinstripe of Ryan Sandberg, number 99. Did not have that. Very nice. And got this beautiful 1964 Topps card of sweet swinging Billy Williams. If I ever can get that signed. If I ever can get an item signed by Sweet Swing and Billy Williams, that would probably be this card, because that is a beautiful card. Decent shape, too, for being from 1964. So, Jason, thank you much, my friend. I greatly appreciate that. Um, moving on. I have so much stuff to show. I, I'm surprised I got this much stuff in. got this yesterday. This is a great TTM success from the Golden Bear, Jack Nicholas. Signed my 8x10 perfectly to Philip. Best of luck, Jack. Jack Nicholas autograph. What up? Um, got this. I don't know why I brought the camera back up here. I'll just show this to here. Uh, this is Ron Turcott, who was aboard Secretariat during the 1973 Triple Crown run. That's Secretariat right there. What up, Secretariat? And signed it perfectly. He does charge $5 per signature, but it's a good deal. Ron Turcott, 1973 Triple Crown. Next, got some 8x10s that I purchased. It's been a while since I got these. That's how long it's been since I did the video. It might have been more than three weeks now. Uh, Devin Travis. We went through the Midwest League, but he didn't come through Beloit, I don't believe, last year, so I didn't get him. But he was the Midwest League All-Star Game MVP. Uh, the reason I bought it, this beautiful Chris Bryan 8x10 at Wrigley. What up? He's going to be an absolute stud when he gets to the majors. Uh, so that's that. And then I got Zach, or, um, Zach Bornstein, who's actually a local kid, not about 45 minutes away from here. So he had a killer year last year, uh, home run-wise, so... I'm going to pause this video and come around. Okay, I'm back. I didn't want my memory card to screw up, and then I just lost, you know, six minutes of video I just did. So, part two. Um, so, I already showed those suckers. Uh, sticking with the Chris Bryant theme. Uh-oh. I forgot the card from Jason. I'll try to stay in order. It says, Phil, I'm going back to Jason now. Phil, it was great to see you again at Nationals. The Cubs game, the longest fourth inning I've ever been through. LOL. Uh, you've been a great friend over... You've been a great friend. You've been a great friend over the years. I need to slow down. I hope you, the princess, and your family have a very merry Christmas. Jason, big fish. So, a little late, but right back at you, Jason. Sorry, I didn't read that prior. It snuck under my eight by tens. Um, sticking with the Chris Bryant theme, pick these up. Um, pretty cheap. Uh, in person autographs. He's great in person, but he never came through the Midwest League, so I never got him. So I'm trying to load up on Chris Bryant's. These are two 2012 Panini USA. Autos not available, so please don't ask. None of my Chris Bryant's are available. Most of the stuff I get's not available because I only get stuff that's PC, so uh, those are nice. Um, went to the card show last weekend, saw Douglas, Northern Illinois Graphs there. Picked up some stuff from him. Favorite theme being this 2011 Upper Deck Collegiate Football Legends on card auto of Gale Sayers. That's a little dark, so I'm gonna bring that down, make sure you can see the awesomeness of this card. Focus, focus, there it is. Gale Sayers on card auto. So that's pretty nice. So the Kansas Comet got a nice on card autograph of my favorite Bulls player and Princess Nini's favorite Bulls player, Joe Kim Noah. For the longest time, Princess Nini thought his name was Joe and then his last name was Kim Noah. So we refer to him as simply Kim Noah now. So nice glass cleaners auto from 1112 Limited. 
uh, numbered to 49. And got this before they got eliminated. This is a, I guess it's considered on cards on acetate. Uh, auto, clear cut rookie auto of T.Y. Hilton. Numbered to, not numbered. So, got those from Douglas, so thank you, sir. I'll bring this back up here so you can see my pretty face again. Um, <laughs> this is kind of funny. Uh, Thaddeus Young was killing it for a while. So I decided to go hog wild on his autos. Check out my cards.com, had him for like a buck a piece pretty much. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by this, the insurance agent. Uh, I went hog wild on Thaddeus Young autographs because they were between a dollar and a dollar twenty-five a piece. And at the point, at the time, he was putting up like twenty to five to thirty points a game. So I ended up buying 14 of his autographs, <laughs> uh, really cheap. And the funny thing is, after I purchased all these, he put up a goose egg. Uh, he's been doing okay since, but I just find the irony in the fact that I bought all those Thaddeus Young autographs, dirt cheap, you know, I mean, between a dollar and a dollar, I think, dollar, dollar 25, dollar 50. I didn't pay a dollar 50 more than one of them. So I got all those, so, yeah. Then I also bought an upgrade, <laughs> Topps Cosigners Ricky Auto, Thaddeus Young. Um, so, and then I bought these. I did need these for my non-official Inception set. Uh, Daniel, Cors Daniel Corsino, which I thought I had, but I guess I didn't. And new White Sox player, Adam Eaton. So I got those from CheckOutMyCards.com. Uh, I got these from CheckOutMyCards.com before, I think Christmas almost. Uh, On-card auto from contenders of Henry Owens, who's one of the top prospects in the Red Sox organization. And I got these really cheap. Peter O'Brien on card auto from Sterling, and on card auto uh, Bowman Chrome auto of Taylor Lindsay. So, uh, picked this up on eBay. Uh, wanted a Bowman Chrome auto, but saw this for about the same price. It's windy out right now. Anyway, um, I saw this. It's from Leaf Trinity three color uh, patch auto. Tyler Glasnow, who's in the Pirates organization. Check out his stats; they're unbelievable. He keeps it up. He's going to be an absolute stud. Uh, bought these on Sports Collectors. Never had an autograph of Joe Adcock. So I got a Joe Adcock autograph. This is from uh, Pacific Greats. So that's a nice, nice autograph too right there. Joe Adcock. Passed away several years ago. Um, this is a nice reprint auto from 1943 Playball. Phil Cavaretta. Former MVP of the National League. And pick this up because my Cubs collection was not complete until I had an autograph of Augie Ojeda. So that's nifty. Uh, these cards I bought back in November and just got them. It took over six weeks to get them. Appropriate feedback was left. Uh, I got two autographs of Salvador Perez. I got Jacob Gobert, who I didn't think I had an autograph of, and I actually already had two. This is my third. Nice autograph, though. That's probably going to be my new master going into the master collection. Got Ernesto Mejia. Mejia. I can't even talk right now. Uh, Cesar Pollo, who I believe was suspended for roids. Justin Ruggiano. And Jonathan Singleton. So, nice autographs, but it shouldn't take six weeks to ship them. I don't, I don't mind when life comes up like this crap, but when you're just blatantly lying to me, it's no one on here. Don't worry, it's no one on here, so I don't need to mention who it was. It was on sportscollection.net, and that person's been outed by not me, but by several people, so. Uh, moving on, I got this for a dollar shipped, so I bought it. I don't even know how to say his name. Never heard of him, but it was a dollar shipped. It's Matt Jungle. I don't know, he's playing with the Marlins organization, apparently. It's numbered to $7.99. So it cost the price of a bag of chips, so I figured I'd pick it up. I am pretty sure that Sarah lost money on that with the eBay fees and shipping. Uh, a couple additions to the 90 score set. First, Jim Presley. That's a nice one to get because he's not really easy to get. And Mike Jeffcoat. So I have some, some incoming. I have one. Uh, I have a Rick Aguilera that's been hung up in New York for the last week and a half. I don't know why. It's just sitting in their post office, but it hasn't moved. So hopefully that will show up eventually. Um, made a trade with Ed. Blind trade, just four cards. You got Ben Davis, special Jeff Shaw, George Mitterwald, and Marcus Gwynn with one N in Gwynn. 
And finally made a trade with Jordan, formerly Mr. Pro Cards on here. Now he's on sportscollectors.net. Uh, it was a 30 for 30, but he ended up sending me 41 because some of them are like um, non-major issue cards. But it's, it's greatly appreciated. Jordan, I don't know if you're watching this or not. Okay, Jason Pretty, Pretty, David Roberts, uh, Kilivio Veras, Grant Jackson, Mandy Romero, Ron Coomer, who's going to be in, in the... Uh, Radio booth this year, the Cubs. Ivan Cruz, Ken Huckabee, Benny DiStefano, uh, Daniel Murphy, met his brother this year, Tom Lawless, Abraham Nunez, Sean Burnett, Bruce Benedict, Kelvin Jimenez, Jerry Don Gleaton, Bill Sampin, um, Jeff Goats, uh, Wardell Starling, Chris Bootcheck, Zane Smith, Warren Morris, Jake Westbrook, John Costello, Kevin Quackenbush, Quack, uh, Henry Sosa, Pedro Bieto, Donnie Veal. That's nice because he, I mean, he's not that good, but he came up in the Cubs organization and never got his autograph, so that's nice. Donnie Veal. I think he was with the Pirates. I don't know who he's with now, but Phil Bradley, Lonnie Smith, uh, Bruce Barreni. Never heard of him, surprisingly, from late 80s. Usually I've heard of everybody. Nice autograph, though. Jack Spradlin, uh, Todd Hundley. Uh, Jake Stevens, Seth Rosen, Alan Dykstra, Chris Schwinden, Frank Tanana, uh, Dave Bush, Scott Ruskin, and Brian O'Connor. So that's a long video. I think I had three or four cuts in there, so I apologize for that. Um, that's it. That's it. Um, I don't, I have very little incoming. I say that all the time, and then I'll show up three weeks later with a whole pile of stuff. So, um, yeah, I'll be dealing with this crap for the next quite a while. So that's all I got for now, guys. I want to thank you for watching, and as always, please stay safe.